Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> it's Double Scar, of course. All right, so um, I've gotten this. There's this question that I I get um a lot. Why did you stop writing erotic stories? I didn't stop writing per se. I just stopped sharing. But from time to time, I I I. I okay, so I kind of stopped writing as often as I used to, but I also stopped sharing. Okay. So the reason that I stopped writing as much, okay, um, I started writing and posting every week and for me it was going to be something amazing that was going to spiral into, you know, I like to imagine, so I imagine a whole lot of nice things happening when I write. And what happened was I started getting calls, I started getting people saying, oh wow, this is amazing, keep writing and um, I'm interested in doing something more with you and I was happy that I was getting positive feedback and then I got this particular one um, They wanted to make a magazine out of it and all of that and I was so excited about it and um, They asked me to come around he actually asked me to come around and I, I, I couldn't wait like I went I was Happy, you know all that hopes and stuff and then I got there and we talked about it for a bit and, you know, after a while, no, no, like right, right, right into it, he was saying stuff like I wanted, I want someone who's comfortable with me, who's comfortable enough to be themselves and just work with me in a very um, relaxed environment and all of that. And I'm like, uh, I don't get. And he's going, he's going like, oh no, like I just want someone who's truly themselves and doesn't pretend or anything. I'm like, I, I'm at any point pretending here. And he's like, no, I'm not saying that you're pretending. I just like, you should feel free with me. So apparently it turned out that because I write erotic stories, this guy assumed that I was, um, probably a sex freak and would be gladly, um, willing to have sex with anybody at any time and i don't think uh i've been heartbroken oh, plenty of times but i think this one i mean i've been a dancer and people thought i was a slut just because i was a dancer and and especially when you're also sexually liberated like you don't see anything wrong with having sex if you're interested in having sex with a person for some reason every guy just believes that because a girl likes to have sex then he's worthy of having sex with her because just because he's a guy and for any girl to actually want to have sex then she must want to have sex with everybody and i, I never thought my erotic stories was going to make me feel negative but that was the first time i actually felt negative like See, Nigeria is a country where even if you know in yourself that what you have is divine and that you are a divine being and that you're seriously not even the average, they still have a way of getting to you and making you feel like maybe you're just some fucking average degenerate. I don't know. <sighs> And you tell me that women do, do, should not speak out on how they are treated differently. The moment a female has sex with a guy, like I saw this post this guy made about how he said this is he, he put a bunch of uh, of mangoes that had been chopped, that had been eaten and dropped. You know when you eat one take one bite of a mango and then you abandon it, yeah. And he put up a post of several mangoes that have been eaten out at one point. And then he said, this is what married people, uh, this is what men do when they're looking for wife material. And he, he wrote, do you understand or should I explain for that? <laughs> hey, God. Ah. Ah. As in the level of insult that you're giving just because you're female. Sometimes I don't blame the girls who say guys are scum. 
I know it's not something that is right. I know sh- nobody should ever generalize, generalize and say men are scum. But sometimes, sometimes, I they see the reason. You know, you guys just hurt people for no fucking reasons. Just because you refuse to unlearn the shit that has been put in your head since when you were young. Like, what the fuck? I can't even... I See, one of the reasons I never wanted to do this video is because I knew how angry I was going to get. <laughs> talking about this kind of things and <laughs> oh god anyways so that insult of someone that called me to work with them someone i was that put me on excitement level do you know how happy i was that finally somebody is seeing my work and something is going to come out of it and realizing that it's just somebody who wants to have sex with me It's the same thing that happened when I was dancing. The same fucking reason I gave up on dance. And it happened again on writing. So, as a female, if you're sexually active, you're probably definitely not... uh, You have basically no chances. Is it that you have to pretend that you are a prim and proper person even though you're having sex, which a lot of people do. And and now I, I get why a lot of my friends don't talk about sex with guys. They actually just get into a relationship and hope for the best because if you me i can't even get into a relationship until i know that like, you're, you're the kind of well now i've gotten to the point where i can even tell just from looking <laughs> just from having a little conversation or looking at you if, if the sex is going to be good because i'm not going to put myself sex is important to me so i'm not going to put myself in a situation where oh we get there and then it's, it's awkward and it's, 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 it's fucked up but i don't i don't think i want to I, I i know i feel like no there are times that sex can be awkward but you know even with someone who's amazing at it, sex can be awkward. If the feelings, if one, if the feelings are shut down at the moment, or both of you have on 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 resolved issues that no, none of you want to talk about. I mean, those kind of things make make sex awkward. But what I'm saying is, I actually know people who don't talk about sex at all from meeting initially because they don't want to be seen as as um, as loose and end up in a relationship where they don't like the sex and then they they are now thinking how do i get out of this you get because women are not even allowed to like sex you are not allowed to want to have sex it should be for the guys only and god okay anyways so as i was saying that shut me down a whole lot the fact that somebody um would call me to work with me just because they wanted to have sex with me and it demoralized me i felt like man you people are not worth this awesomeness that i have in me <laughs> i swear i just felt like i'm too diva for this shit and i'm not gonna post any more stories you guys should go suck it you know <laughs> and another thing that i okay another comment i got from my stories was when because I, I, I tend to like to pass on values in my stories. I tend to like to put in um, different personalities. I, te- I tend to like to explain life somehow in my stories. Getting people to see that things can be done differently from the way it's always been done. And then somebody tells me, oh, I don't even read your stories. I just go to the, to the sex part. I think that one killed me also. I think that one also... <laughs> I think that one also killed me. I mean, how can you... <laughs> You don't even read, you just go to the sex part. Like, why not just go watch porn? You know, just go ahead and watch porn. Don't, don't read my story. <laughs> I, took it, I took it personally. And you know the funny thing? At some point, because I am a very, very compensating person, I was like, okay, let me even see if I could try this, where I start the story with sex. For those people who just come to read for the sex, let me just start the story with sex and see how it goes. And I did that once. And guess what? Someone who reads my story and who I value his um, impute said, mm, it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good that you started with sex. But I, and re- regardless of the fact that it wasn't my idea, it was an induced idea, I felt terrible. I felt bad. So I was feeling too, too many bad feelings on writing my erotic stories. Too many bad feelings. For me, life is an experience. So when I feel bad, yeah, I'm going to stop. <laughs> when I feel bad about something, I'm going to stop. 
I didn't know how to get on again because it seemed like everything I was doing was wrong. And I know, yes, I shouldn't allow people's opinions to influence me, but I also feel like sometimes some things happen for a reason and I don't feel bad that I stopped. I actually don't feel bad that I stopped writing. I think that the things that I write now and things that I think about now are even way more amazing than what I used to write. And I can't wait to share it, but I, I feel like I'm not going to share it the way I used to because I, I, I think I want it to be more appreciated. Yeah, so. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I might post something. No, I'm not posting. I'm not promising you guys any posts now. No. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. You're going to see whatever you're going to see whenever I'm ready to show you whatever I come up with in whatever pattern I come up with it as. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Take care.